Geometric returns are nonlinear. They're raised to a power other than one. Now, arithmetic, on the other hand, are linear. That's the difference in a nutshell. But for better understanding, let's look at an example and when to use one over the other. Let's say we're looking at a portfolio that's up 10% in the first year, down 7% in the second year, and let's say up 5% in the third year. For the average arithmetic return, we'd add up each annual return and divide by the total number of them. So three years in this case. So that's 10 minus seven plus five, all of that order of operations uh, divided by three and we get 2.67% um, or 2.6 repeating percent. So that's one of the most common ways to find an average or mean. You're likely very familiar with that. Now the geometric mean, we'd take one plus each of the returns, we'd add those up, and then we take that result uh, to the power of one over the number of years, or three in this case. So this formula ends up giving us 2.41%. In this example, the geometric return is lower than the arithmetic return. And this is almost always the case. Geometric, geometric returns will never be above arithmetic, and the only time you'll see them the same is when the underlying annual returns are the same each year. Now, which formula is better to use? For dependent subsequent events, like uh, annual investment returns, it's better to use GeoMean. And for independent events, arithmetic works well. To see why this is the case, let's expand upon the previous example. Based on annual returns of 10%, negative uh, 7%, and 5%, here's how a $100,000 portfolio would grow. Now, let's compare that to a $100,000 portfolio that grows at that arithmetic 2.67% and another portfolio that grows at the geometric 2.41%. The ending value for the real portfolio and the geometric return portfolio is much closer. That's because the real portfolio's returns compound each year and the arithmetic mean doesn't factor that in as well. So when it comes to most investment calculations, geometric is the way to go. I hope this explainer uh, helps, and if you'd consider tapping that like button down below as well as subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and um, please let me know if you have any comments or questions.